Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn a super easy and yet super sophisticated bossa nova chord progression. I'm talking about this. sophisticated chords and yet they're extremely easy to play all you need to do is to bar the second fret on strings one and two right so you get the F sharp and the C sharp right and then you play it as E minor so you have two two the open third string and the open sixth string this is E minor 6-9, okay, E minor 6-9, it's E minor with the 6th and with the 9th, so you get this, now this chord is super spicy because it contains the spiciest interval, the tritone, this is what gives it its kick, now the intervals here are pretty sophisticated in and of themselves. This is also pretty spicy, so... Okay, we're gonna get to the rhythm in a second, but I wanna show you the really cool part. All you need to do for the next chord is to add four on the third string. That's it. And you play it with the fifth string, with A. So you get... You get A 6-9, but it's major, it's not minor, it's not A minor 6-9, it's A major 6-9, so this time there's nothing spicy about it, it's just extremely beautiful, because you have this, you have this, and you have this. So you can say that it's the polar opposite of the E minor 6 9 chord. So that's it. All you have to do is to change from 4 to 0 and back again on the 3rd string. While having 2 and 2 on strings 1 and 2. That's it. Okay? So E minor... A major. Both of them 6-9. Now let's talk about the rhythm. I'm playing this, which is bass chord, okay? Bass chord. And then I'm playing the bass twice. And I'm muting the chord while I'm doing it. I'm not playing it like this. Okay? I'm playing it like this. Okay? It's a short chord. It's a burst. Okay? It's staccato. And then I'm playing the chord twice, and the second time, I let it ring. Okay? Like this. So it's bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, chord. Bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, chord. Okay, and let it ring. And then I start over and I play the bass, okay, the first bass note, while the chord rings. This is what gives it the effect. That's the rhythm. Practice this, let me just mention 
that you can actually play this with E minor as well. Okay, you can play two, two, four on strings one, two, and three with E minor as well. But then it's not spicy at all. You don't have that contrast between the two chords. That's why I play the open third string to get that minor note, okay, to get this instead of this. Because you can play the same notes for both chords, but then you lose the effect. So um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Enjoy.